All right, some sweet science. Let's go. All day. Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Come on now. Let's get in there and get after it today. Yes, the kickboxing damage. Exactly. That's it. Work on that kickboxing damage. Your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Yeah, work on that kickboxing damage. Yes! Thirty seconds. Standing kick. Nice work. Just keep drilling that. Never kick without setting it up with a jab or straight. All right, coming up next is the UFC middleweight division fight.
prelims no more. Here he is making his way to the octagon. This is the first time in his UFC career he has worked his way to the main card. He has strung together some wins, looking at the rankings, and this guy appears like he belongs. A lot more eyeballs on him tonight. The audience is bigger. His popularity has grown leaps and bounds. We'll see if he can handle that pressure and perform the way he has that led to this main card slot here tonight. So here he is, one of the better ground and pound guys we have in the sport here at present. There's just an efficiency and an accuracy to the way he approaches the ground strikes. No wasted motion out of this guy. Oh, it's, it's an art form, John. It's the way that he goes at his opponents, and the moment they hit the mat, he secures them. Oh, it's on. He doesn't rush. He takes his time. He knows that it does not take much in order to finish a fight. So he'll find his posture. You can't. He doesn't waste time with his head in the chest just punching. He finds posture. Once he finds posture, he can get momentum to land the big strikes, then he moves position. And then he goes and he finds another strike. Before long, you see his opponent face swelling. You see the eyes all split open and beat. It's truly, truly amazing to watch him and watch his approach to ground and pound. And great cardio allows him to stay heavy. We've seen a lot of fighters just struggle to buck him off. We'll see how it goes tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 175 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 22 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Wilmington, North Carolina, Derek Bronson. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Round one underway here. This will be his first fight on the main card, so that bears watching here tonight. There's no denying just how successful he's been on the prelims, but now... Whoa! Oh! Oh! Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Hands a big right hand early. And that he knee. comes through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. from here. Well, he went to a single switch to a high crotch. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, straight right. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Both shot lands. He's getting lit up right now, John. Now they're both throwing with power. Huge kick to the leg. Kick to the body, lands flush. Big knee there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Lands a big right hand coming. Oh, Back to the feet. Back to the feet. Oh, he's not able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Right punch 
has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes well, it. Well, that's how you draw it up. Nice trip to secure the takedowns. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Starting to do some really significant damage to the... Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did it. Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight.
right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. You ready? All right, here we go with round one. I couldn't even get my wife a ticket to this fight. Why? Because this fighter has won the majority of his recent fights. Oh! And he that comes knee. through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Tavares' strike attempt there is blocked. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh. Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Whoa! We're just getting going, and now the fight's over, but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. Official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 27 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by Knockout Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.
Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, so here he is, the soldier of God, Olympic silver medalist, Yoel Romero. It's amazing to think he hasn't had a UFC belt around his waist. Most people think, or I should say, some people think he did enough to beat Robert Whitaker back in the day, but this is still one of the best middleweights on planet. He's one of the most naturally talented guys that I've ever met. From the moment I met him back in the wrestling days, way back around 2001, you understood that you were looking at something special in Yoel Romero. And although he started his career very late, I knew that he would get to this point. Now that he has developed that quick knockout ability, couple that with his wrestling, and you have one of the perennial middleweight top contenders. Hard to find a lot of glaring weaknesses when you study the film on Yoel Romero. Some might knock the cardio, but seems to get his breathers in there in a 25-minute fight. And you've heard past opponents like Luke Rocco, Robert Whitaker talk about literally kicking stone. a man of steel. He's stone. Yoel Romero, folks, here he is. DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot 
that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 31 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bansuka! Oh, and there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is, the undefeated Israel Adesanya, his crowning achievement, at least to this point in time, UFC 236, a monumental, unanimous decision win over Kelvin Gastelum in what was one of the best title fights you or I have ever seen. One of the greatest fights of all time. And to watch Israel Adesanya go out in round five when the fight is on the line and have his very best round of the fight was inspiring for anyone that likes mixed martial arts. If you're a fan of a young guy like Israel, to see him do that, to earn that title, is very, very assuring 
as he's getting ready to go forward in his career. To achieve that goal in such a short amount of time is truly, truly unheard of. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Adesanya is four years the elder. He is seven inches taller. He will have a nine inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 14 wins, no losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 175 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? His opponent would be wise to get the guard up here early. This man has won his last three fights. Oh, what a kick home, and now his opponent in a roll of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Beautiful body kick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, oh! look at that. Trouble zone. It's over. He got him. <laughs> yes, sir. It goes into the books as a first round win by knockout. Near perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit. Those strikes can have a bigger effect, and it certainly did here tonight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution, and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop for this contest at 49 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.
All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. ones, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, so another big spot for this high level wrestler here tonight. And the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling mats. And even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, you put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and we'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. Weidman is nine years the elder. He will have a seven-inch reach advantage. Now here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, no losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 175 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, eight losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Baldwin, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Chris Weidman. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Well, it's good to see this man back inside the octagon. Round one getting underway here. As many of you know, he won his last fight by blistering knockout. His popularity has absolutely soared since. So with momentum tonight. Oh! Huge right hand! Kick right under that right elbow. To mix. All right, so there's the only takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so then. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedowns, he was secure. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Not the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Body shot after body shot. He keeps landing these strikes, really zapping the gas tank. Oh, now going to the judo throw. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can't go ground and pump, or he can chase submission. He gets right back up. Quick level change. Oh, he went single. Rotate head outside. This dude's going for a ride. Oh. Big slam takedown. That was beautiful. Good cross the midpoint in round one. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Getting back up. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. Sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. 
All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Look at him drive his chin into his own body with that body. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice takedown there. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, and he's back up again. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he threw it up for tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and arched right through it to get the knock. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 3 minutes, 49 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout, Bazooka! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out quick. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.